Over Thanksgiving, I read this book by John Perkins, The Secret History of the American Empire, Economic Hitmen, Jackals, and the Truth About Global Corruption. If that title sounds somewhat familiar to you, it's because John Perkins wrote the bestseller from a few years back called Confessions of an Economic Hitman. This book is obviously a cheap attempt to capitalize on the success of that other book and make some money without putting in too much work. It seems like he took a a few untold anecdotes from his previous book that, that didn't make it past the first edit, stuck them in here and upgraded it with some of his experiences going around the world and talking to people since he wrote that bestseller. What John Perkins' deal is, is that he used to have a job as an economic hitman in which he would go to other countries and lay the groundwork for corporate exploitation of the resources in those countries, often in direct opposition to the best interests of the people of those countries. And the more important part of his expose is how he talks about that U.S. foreign policy is complicit with this corporate deal, and the U.S. foreign, foreign policy often is designed to help our companies exploit resources in other countries, in this case in direct opposition to the best interests of not only the, peop the people in the other countries, but of U.S. citizens. So it's a very important uh, tale to expose. And I believe what he says in here, but mostly because I read it elsewhere. This book itself is rather disappointing. He talks about how this pattern of exploitation occurred in all these different countries around the world, and he often participated in these schemes before he became a whistleblower. Uh, in Indonesia, in Bolivia, in Guatemala, in Africa, in Asia. But the book itself is very scant on the details. He doesn't really get into the mechanics of who, how, what, when, where these conspiracies were actually implemented and executed. And that's very disappointing. It's important that people know about this stuff, and I believe it happens because I've read it in many other places. But here's finally a whistleblower, a former insider, exposing this corporate exploitation, and he fails to actually give the detailed mechanics of how it, it is executed, and therefore it leaves you rather unconvinced by reading the book, and that's extremely disappointing. On top of that, he tries to over-dramatize uh, and make it into a thriller, which is a cheap little technique. For example, at the end of chapter 38 here, he writes, by the time my plane landed in Qatar, I had been flying for nearly 24 hours. I was exhausted and jet-lagged. I certainly was not prepared for the man I was about to encounter. Then you read chapter 39. He talks about the man he was, that he encountered, and it's the most boring, mundane story you've ever imagined. And it, You're wondering, what the hell did you over-dramatize for? He tried to make it into an espionage thriller, failed. And uh, that, that also helps discredit what's a true and important story that he's trying to tell. On the other hand, you do learn a lot about what's going on in the world, superficially. I, I enjoyed the chapters on Bolivia. I was very depressed by, uh, by them as well. And he talks a lot about Venezuela and Indonesia. It's, uh, so, you know, overall, if you read this book, you will probably learn a lot. So I want to get rid of it. I will offer it to anybody who writes me an email at the address that will appear at the end of this video and just give me your name and address and I'll pick one at random and I'll send it to you. I'm not highly recommending this book, in fact I'm not even sure I am recommending it at all. You should probably check out Confessions of an Economic Hitman. It was a bestseller, that might mean something. But if you really want to learn about this history of US foreign policy linked to corporate interests, you should probably read Stephen Kinzer's books bitter fruit about our overthrow of the president of Guatemala in the 50s and all the Shah's men about the CIA sponsored coup in Iran in the early 50s with consequences that we are still grappling with today. Nevertheless, you can try to win this book from me by emailing me and you will learn you will learn a lot by reading it. So uh, give it a shot and if you can get it out of the library that'll work too. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.